Yo, good morning. It's a great day today. The sun is out, the birds are singing. I just took a shower, and as I was taking a shower, I had some thoughts. Why do people wait for retirement? To, to finally live their life. You know, people go, oh, I'm a, when I'm 65, I'm gonna retire. And this is when I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do all the things that I want to do. And I sit there and I go, but your ass is gonna be old. How much strength are you gonna have? How much energy are you gonna have? You know, when you start getting older, sometimes what happens, you know, your body just starts naturally breaking down. You're just getting older. And let me tell you, when you, when you get older, and your body breaks down, you don't really want to do anything. You don't have the energy. You're uncomfortable. So young people, don't wait for retirement to experience what a beautiful world it is. Don't wait for retirement. Go experience it now. Go do it now while you can, while you're able to, while you you know, you're, you have the energy and you're able to move and function and, you know, do all those things. Don't wait for some magical day in the future. Because I have heard stories of other people who got to that magical number and then like a year later they were dead. Who wants to do that? Not me. So look, I got to go. I've got things to do. I've talked too long this morning. Let's get to it. Look. I really hate to start your morning with such a deep and thought-provoking question about you and your health and you being young, but even older people, like, you know, people who are in their 40s, maybe in their 50s, anybody, like, we couldn't have been put on this earth to work Monday through Friday and have the weekends off. Like, there has to be more to this life than doing that. I love your face. It looks beautiful this morning. I love that face. Look how that is. That is so pretty. My mom right now would be looking at you going, so pretty. Our big family reunion here. $30 family parking. reunion, both yeah. of us, we made it. <laughs> the outlaws, oh, we have some outlaws. outlaws. We got them family outlaws reunion. in the bag. <laughs> Trying to get in our 15 minutes. You know? Look, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. Just believe them. Well, I just finished a whole bunch of work that I had to do, but my office is an absolute mess, but not anymore. Watch this. Okay, look at this. It's not perfect, but it was better than what it was. I still need to improve. Trinity, I'm waiting on you to help me with all my organization. Can I ask you a question? How was your first week of college? <laughs> Are you ready to drop out? <laughs> no, seriously, be honest. You would like to drop out. What have you learned this first week of school? What's the main thing that you learned? And be totally honest. The main thing I learned. Took too long to answer that one. <laughs> African proverb that I learned in English was when you pray, move your feet. What does that mean when you pray, move your feet? means just because you pray you gotta you gotta put in your work too so when you pray you have to move your feet okay so you know what that means to me hmm. just because you can't see the the whole road doesn't mean that you don't uh, stop going forward you just keep going forward you know why because you only have today the future 
does not exist. The future is not here. Okay? It's not here. Until I walk to that other side of the room, it ain't here. Until I walk over there. Okay? That's what it means. You get it? I hope so. Have you ever gone to in and out Yes. And what is it about the in and out menu that you like? The sauce. <laughs> We're going to try that again. Okay. Forget the sauce. Like the menu itself. The menu itself. Not like what they serve. Not what they serve. What, what is... It about the menu on internet. I know what you're about to say. What is it? <laughs> it's because everything's the same. You just know. It's simple. It's simple. Do you want a hamburger, cheeseburger, double doubles, french fries, a soda, or a shake? And now they have hot cocoa. But that's it. it it's not like a McDonald's menu. It's not a McDonald's menu where there's tons of crap all over the damn screen. And you're sitting there going, well... I don't really know. There's so many choices. When you have too many choices, you create fear. You create hesitation. Right? So when it comes to your life, don't create a whole bunch of options. Just say, hey, today I'm going to do this one thing. And I'm going to see if I like it or I don't like it. I'm going to see what the challenges are and what the challenges are not. And then when I wake up the next day, if I get the next day to wake up, I'm going to hit the floor and go, okay, thank you. I woke up. Okay, what am I going to try today? Don't give yourself a whole bunch of Just pick one thing. Just grab one fucking thing off the menu and go, fuck it. I'm going to try it. That's all you got to do. And that's what I'm doing with college. <laughs> I said, let me try it. <laughs> see how it goes. <laughs> Good. Okay. You try it and you'll see. By December, you'll go, yeah, I'm going to continue. Or, hey, I'm out of here. Deuces. And then you can move on and keep moving forward. Just like the proverb said. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got to go. And this is today's lesson. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> okay, you can clearly see it's time for a haircut and a little shave. And I'm gonna do that right now. How's this? Better? Ah, I feel better. Now, I gotta take a shower. Why? Because I'm going to the movies with my wife and a young man who, uh, who, uh, is a nice guy. So we're gonna take them to the movies this evening. All right, let's go. So now I'm here and I've got to drive this little thing because I got to get dropped off. Have you ever seen a big guy in a little car? Well, you're about to see one. Look at me in this little ass car. Why am I driving? Because I don't want to drive it. Can I put this thing back? Right here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, just... I'll get back to you. She just said... You don't want to have old gas in your car. You want to run it all the way down. I've never heard of no ridiculousness like that. <laughs> it's bad for your car to have old gas in there because it just gets hot and stuff. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. We're all gonna go to Venice Beach in the morning so we can go ride bikes. Yay. Trinity's gonna come with us too. Okay? Yes, it is. All right, everyone. This is Elijah. 
he is a YouTube creator. He has his own YouTube channel. So guess what? In the description, I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel. Make sure you click on it so you can subscribe to Elijah's channel and watch what he does. You know why you want to watch what he does? Because he's going to start creating content every single day. And one day, he's going to get there. Right, Elijah? Yeah. He said, yeah. So, you I haven't been here, huh? No. Elijah's never been to the Studio Movie Grill. But today, Elijah's going to go to the Studio Movie Grill. Now, I don't remember what we we're supposed to see, but... We haven't bought the tickets yet. We haven't even bought the tickets yet? Dang! Oh. So, did it make sense? I don't know how that time thing happened. Me neither. We're gonna talk about this in a minute. Okay. I liked it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> what was the name of the movie again? Don't Let Go. Don't Let Go. What did you like about it? Oh, I thought the cinematography was great. You know, the storytelling was predictable. But I don't know. I, I don't know the whole time warping thing. Just... It's science fiction. Not everything has to make perfect sense. Just gotta go with it. Okay. Guys. Elijah, what yeah. are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna use it to record. And what are you gonna make with it? Videos. You're gonna make videos? Yeah. So you're gonna watch it on his channel. Hold him accountable to making his videos. There is no such thing as give it to me, give me my success right now. It may seem like it sometimes, but it, it never happens that way. Patience, patience, and more patience. And doing what you're supposed to do every single day. Put your 10,000 hours in. I, tell, I always, always talk my kids, put your 10,000 hours in. You wanna be an awesome movie director? You wanna be an awesome animator? You wanna be an awesome programmer? You wanna be an awesome whatever it is? You have to put your 10,000 hours in. 10,000 hours. Are you ready to put your 10,000 hours in? Yes. Good, 10,000 going down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Elijah. And Elijah is going places. I want you to remember this. I want you to see this. I want you to, plant. you see this face right here? Plant it in your mind because one day you're gonna see him and you're gonna go, hey, that's that dude, that's that young dude that Mike was with. Yes, it may take a year, it may take five years, it may take 10 years, I don't care how long it takes him. He is gonna get there and one day he's gonna say, you know what, Mr. Lopez told me that I was gonna get here. And I'm going, yeah man, I told you you can get there, you can get there. All you gotta do is what? Uh, I forgot it, yeah. Make the decision to do it, right? He's on his way. He's gonna get there. Say goodbye to Elijah. Today, I really learned something. You know how they say you find a needle in a haystack? Well, with my mom, I had a diamond in a haystack. She was a diamond. Because a, a needle is sharp. And I don't necessarily know that if I was looking through a haystack, like I'd want to find a needle. But if I could find a diamond, yo, that's what I would want. And that's what I had in my mom. I had a diamond. Someone who taught me that anything was possible, you're never too late to change. And she was also someone who always helped someone if she could. If she could if if she couldn't give money, if she couldn't give something that she could do, she'd give them words of encouragement. Elijah's on his way. He's on his way. So I just ask all of you out there, if you ever see Elijah, encourage him. Keep him going. He's going to be the diamond in the haystack. The diamond in the haystack. And I challenge you to be a diamond in a haystack. That's all I got for today. It was a great day. Peace.